Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Part Salvage Space Engineers. And we start this episode off today on the top of my new ship. What did you, my character just put his leg up in the air? What is going on? That is so funky. That is so weird. Hey, hey, hey. I'm the only weird one here. No need to be weird too, character. So yeah, the outside of it is done. I hope it can hover. I hope it can take off. But I'll give you a tour. We started it in the previous episode. And yeah, as you can see, I finished I finished all of it. I tried to continue the ribbing along the sides as best I could but yeah I could only put the the what do you call it thrusters there and there I couldn't put one there so I had to change it up a little bit but yeah and I oh, get up there on an angle there we go put three thrusters up the top and as you can see oh well, I hid a thruster there and a thruster there. So it was quite interesting. And I've got a small cargo container there. I want to put a turret there. And yeah, that's the connectors just so we can load the ship up with some stuff. I didn't go for a large thruster at the back because this whole build I was just worried about weight. You know, I don't want to use a lot of weight. So, um, yeah, so I used... I, I was originally going to go for five, but I whacked another one in there because I I built... I didn't build it, like, perfectly symmetrical. But, yeah. Everything's mirrored on this side, and I was able to build a little bit of a nacelle and have, like, some backwards-facing thrusters there as well. So I've got three on each side and two up top. So that's eight all together. So that should be plenty of um, reverse thrusters. Because I always always want to stop faster than what your takeoff has. Yeah. Uh, am I out of fuel, am I? I am too. Damn it. Let's get this thing. Let's get some more fuel. Or I completely die. And just dump the bottles in there. Grab a few more. Just in case we just in case we run out again. We go up. And up. Now this is what happens when I point straight up and go up. I'll go down. Doesn't doesn't seem to work. You gotta go up on an angle because of the high hole oh, that randomly drops you like that. So so yeah, I really like the front. Oh, and the landing gears. I tried to put landing gears on this, but they looked like super weird, and you have to and I would have to have like two blocks. And yeah, it was just, they were nearly the same height as the bloody ship. So, oh, one large thruster underneath. And I was thinking maybe one large thruster wouldn't be enough. So I squeezed three in there and three in there. So hopefully we've got enough lift. So yeah, we've got landing gears there. And I'm finally using them. I should have used them on the base when I built the base. But we got these airlock doors, which are trippy. Then you come in here through the door, and this is our bridge. Fully airtight. You can see you can close the door. Boom. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. 
got to get up and uh, and go uh, depressurize off there we go I had it on because when you've got an atmosphere on the planet no matter how small you can set one to depressurize and fill up oxygen tanks free of charge without any ice now you come downstairs and you've got the second bridge now this one you've got my oxygen tanks I, 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 I finished the build and then I'm going oh crap I've got no oxygen tanks out of space so I had to hurry slap a couple in here yeah. just in case it's not airtight you can, you can close that door and then this is to an engineering section and this isn't airtight that's why we've got the airtight doors and we can't get back there but down here oh yeah gravity forgot get up here I'm looking forward to a planet with like normal gravity so you can jetpack around normally um, yeah okay, let's turn our lights on because I died and get get down there normally Whew. just had enough hydrogen so there we go now down here oh yeah I've got a there was a little area in there where it was about six seven blocks oh you know it was about I think it was about nine blocks of space between the thruster here and the wall for the um the wall for the bridge so I was able to squeeze in a assembler a basic refinery and about oh about six of these um small cargo containers and yeah and i'm running three times space so so it should be plenty of cargo space but we can't get to the back so we'll go back down here the way we died there we go but we'll come around to the back i left one hole here just so we can I can show you why we needed silver for this thing. This is the jump drive. So we'll be able to get to Europa. Set up a base on Europa. So yeah. So that's what we're planning. I gotta I gotta I gotta build that. I have all the parts. Yeah critical I have all the parts because I was prepped so, let's just grab them and head out okay. Whoop. This is oh well, do I already have it in my planner? No, it's good, it's all there. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know how many trips this is gonna take. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set up the well, let's just unload. Yeah, I've got to go check the board. Yeah, the to-do list. Here we go. See, we got to build a dock so we can dock it up to the base. And we also need to build parts for it. So it still needs gyros. It still needs the flight seat. We want to put a few lights around so it's not so dark in there. And... If we can if we can build one maybe a small reactor 
because we do have like 20 or 30 or 15 i think it is um uranium we got off that damn ship we want to put some guns on it as well as a jump drive so i reckon we could oh and that's oh crap wrong button <laughs> and that's the why that's the reason why i built a um assembler in there instead of the basic assembler because we need to build once we get guns on it um we might need to replenish the ammo and can only build the ammo for the guns the gatling guns and stuff in a assembler not a basic assembler so yeah so what we'll do is we will grab block weapons let's grab two Oh, that's right. We've got that on there. So yeah, we'll, we'll grab grab enough for a couple of turrets because it's only a drop. Oh, it's only an escape pod, really. So we only want to just get off the just get off the ground. But this way, we'll have a bit of defense. Can't I place it there? Why can't I build it there? Oh, don't tell me it's because I put those. Okay. Fair enough. I might have to get rid of. Get rid of these blocks here. I put them on so it kind of protects the. Protects it a bit. But if I can't have them on, yeah, now I can place it down. Oh well. a bit of a bummer I reckon it looks nicer with the with the with the armor plates on but we need protection more than we need that we got extra thrusters so um, yeah here we go now we've got some We've got some Gatling guns. Let's put another one on this side. I think I grabbed enough for three. Uh, it's doing that again. I'm not removing them. See, there's three there. And that's what I use to make it sleek. The armor panels. I thought the guns would be able to shoot over them. Hmm. Okay, well, what we'll to settle with just the two on top then? Uh, well, no, we got plenty. We got plenty of bottles. What is it talking about? So we got a couple of guns. Um, gyros. We'll definitely need gyros and a flight seat. So we'll get some cockpit box. And let's get one of them. There we go. Get it all queued up. Everything. Oh, already. Yeah, I'm still making the stuff. Okay. Did I withdraw everything? Yeah. Well, that's already had it in there. So we also need gyros. Now, I am unsure on how to. I've heard people say that you want the gyros at the center mass of your ship, but I don't know. I don't know where the center mass of my ship is. So, I'm just going to put it roughly halfway down the ship. <laughs> So, like, 
and I think that's full I'm not sure but there we go gotta be in it spin it <laughs> gotta be in it spin it there we go now we have to get our flight seat and place it down done yeah we also got to paint this too because it I just stuck with the one color now our landing pads are magnetic plates there we go so we'll go I've got to come up with a name for the ship too well, we'll just name it skate pod for now skate pod landing Yep, that's good. And we also want um, thrusters. We want all the hydrogen thrusters. And we want escape pod. Archite. Thrusters. Okay, save. And what else do we need for now? Um, yeah, we've got thrusters. Jump drives incomplete. Uh, we'll leave the batteries. Batteries good. Ore detector. Max range. Airlock doors. These can actually come off. We don't need those. Offset. Rotary door. Rotary tent sliding door. Cool. So now we can go G and go groups. And go. And where is it? Escape pod thrusters. Switch on and off. Landing gear. Switch lock. And I also need to find the connector. So we need the connector. But we'll do that in a little while. Oh, no, we have got to finish building this these gyros so we can actually control ourselves. Close. Oh, get up there! Did I fall off the edge? I did. There we go. So it's so funny. You just can't move around properly in high grav. I I actually killed myself many times falling off that. Okay, everything's wrong door. Oh yeah, we've got to put a med bay in here too. We can't forget the med bay, otherwise we'll respawn back at this this um, base. And it's done. And it's done. So now we can fly the ship. Yes. Um, 
but before we do that, yeah, I've already gone and deposited some stuff. Uh, yeah, put it into the connector, large cargo connector. Uh, yeah, I deposited some stuff in the connector over there, with, which drew it into the ship. So yeah, so we won't be leaving with nothing. So yeah, so we've got to mark some stuff off because this what is happening? Why are all my LCDs off offline? Whoa, that's glitchy. Okay, so we can mark off some stuff because this is a, these are must do things. This has been done. So we've done the gyros. We've done the flight. Tool. We've done the flight seat. And we've done some guns. And now let's. Off. Yeah, I'll finish off the jump drive. Because that has to charge up. So once we get to orbit, we can jump. And I don't. But since we're connected to power over here with the solar panels and everything. I want it to help charge it up for its for its first jump before we have to worry about building in space. Yeah, it's a good good idea. Hopefully, I got enough parts. I queued up the parts individually because gold's gold's a bit hard to find, so I had to go out and find it. And we finally found silver. So I was able to build the um, superconductors. So let's just some something glitchy is going on. Yeah, this is a pretty big escape pod. I gotta say, it is my first. First one hundred percent build. I, oh, I could have. Oh, I was just thinking I could have, like, put the magnetic plate on that block. Oh, yeah, I know why I did that now. Because if we t if we do a heavy landing, um, it'll damage this block and maybe a little bit of the block above it um, and if I do it on that one it'll do this one and then that one but over here it might do some internal damage yeah yeah just just had to think about that but yeah I had it it tells me that my fuel is low and I'm, and so it's like already filled up just weird more superconductors. I hope I got enough superconductors. Oh, drop pod! Ow, ow! I don't have my gun. Right behind here. Well, I do have it. I haven't had one of these for ages. tearing through its drop pod oh 
Oh, let's just let's just tear it up a bit, eh? Oh, oh, it's a reactor, eh? What is that? Cryo chamber. Cool. I oh, that was just a bit unexpected. That was <laughs> dropped right on my right on the base. Oh, did I? I think I had some parts for the. Oh, get up there. Parts for it. Nope. Let's deposit what I got. And go collect the, the ammo with these guys. Might as well grab the gun too. Yeah. I'll take all the ammo I can get. At the moment, got a couple of spare guns, that's all right. What is that? That's the AI control box, small hydrogen tank, antenna. Good, it can go away. Thought there might have been a a reactor in here. It might have just been a gyro. Okay. Oh. Tripping over things here. Pick up all this. Well not all of it, just what we can carry. We can get back to doing what we were doing. Hey, get off that. What is that? Whoa! What the hell? There we go. That is good enough. Fuel is always critical on this planet. Shut up! Oh, I'm working here. All close. Talk about resources can it withdraw 279 computers really all right maybe there was yeah no not him he's got some computers on him he's got some computers on him what about this dude that lazy bum doesn't have any. All right. Well, that's all right. We can you up and get some. And while that's oh, while that's being processed, we can heal up. Now I'm thinking I might. Oh, it's a bit out in the open i was thinking about putting the survival kit or med bay in on the second level of the the bridge yeah on the bottom level yeah because it's a big open spot eh, but the med bay is a bit big The med bay is a bit big, oh, and there's a bit of room here, so you can fit right underneath there and get, you know, be connected. But I was just thinking it could easily be shot up. Uh, we we hopefully won't be going into combat with this, so 
well not not to begin with you might retrofit it like once we start getting a base built you know fit it out with more guns there we go now I have eight I have eight um, batteries that are fully charged um, I hope I hope it can yeah I hope it can recharge them and there we go it's all fixed up that is all done now what we need to do is do that med bay something's going on this is still going that ain't now it is this world is getting glitchy so edit text the jump drive is complete So lights and power generation, but we need that med med bay first, I reckon. So med bay, more medical room. Yeah, I did it again. There we go. Build my components for me. Okay, fair enough. Oh, do I have the silver for it? Because oh, should have went the my normal route. Zoom around the back. No, no. Oh, you son of a! I had plenty of fuel. Gosh. You know, I had plenty. Of, look at all these bottles. I've got two and a half bottles full. Oh, you just drain your hydrogen sometimes faster than what your bottles will replenish. So let's uh, let's get up there, circle around, get in there. Man, it's dark when you first walk in, eh? Oh, might be helpful if I put my lights on. There we go, now yeah, the med bay. Is that the right way up? Yeah, that's. That fits in actually quite nicely. might finally be able to change our change our colored colored suit so we're not yellow I know yellow is my theme theme color no it's not what what am I missing Silver. It's clear. Oh, it's going night time. Go do a silver run to get some silver, eh? And oh, yes. Since we nearly crashed our our miner in the last episode, because it didn't have enough gyros on it to get out. To ride itself in the hole, but a little bit more forward thrust, uh, reverse thrust on top, and a bit more thrust going either way. Got four gyros now, and the ore detector, so it's a lot more sturdier. And yeah, I have no trouble now, but oh, 
oh, it took me a while to make a to get this miner up to scratch. Let's turn the lights on because it's getting night. And let's go to our GPS. Turn off ice for now. We want the silver hole. Over this way. Yep. I did a bit of cleanup just before the episode too. I got rid of all the um destroyed stations that we've already conquered. And I was leaving to tr just despawn. But they weren't despawning, so. Whoa. I had to manually des despawn it. There we go. We need more silver. Must have been all those, um, gravity comp- Gravity, um, yeah, components. And... And such. Silver is down there, 300 meters. Now this is the this is the tricky part. I don't know which like ooh. let's go this side of the hole for now. Right click on Really should have some more lights going actual down. Let's go over a bit. I can work my work my way down. We just angle to the side a bit. That way we can see when we oh, went a bit too fast there. When we hit the silver. We do have to travel thir uh, 300 meters to get there. But this is a lot easier than, than digging it by hand. It took me 10 minutes to dig, like dig down to a sil like to an ore. Oh, oh, oh. I turn the lights off for a oh, crap. Wrong button. Not good, Steve. Wrong button. Okay. Oh, and we've reached it. So now what we've got to do is switch our sorters on, get left clicking, and then just scoot ourselves around. Sucking up this. Also nice silver. Which is good because like once we get to our other base we'll need a like when we set up our other base on Europa we will need we'll need and we'll need more silver there to put the survival kit on there. The right click action. That's why I didn't want the the wall there. There we go, just clean a bit of house cleaning while we dump a bit of stone. Just 
Jesus. We'll let it drill. How much have we got? We got a little bit. We're nowhere near full. Let's That was weird. All right. Looks so very close to the edge there. Drill a little bit of it out. Get that nice silver. What do I have now? Thirty three K. I reckon 33 is plenty. Now I right click as I go up. Makes the hole a little bit nice. Okay, should be plenty of silver. Hopefully, for a few medical components. I didn't expect to do mining this 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 episode. I thought we'd I thought I had all the components needed. But oh well, can't know the future. Can't wait until I can make ships that you know you can have a connection at the the bottom or at the side and connect oh. whoa I am completely off There we go. Took longer than usual. Yeah, my refinery should have sucked all, sucked all that silver out. Yep. We're making medical components. Come on, give it all to me. Done. And look at that. Beautiful. It's all piped up, got my hydrogen back too. It's good. No, those tanks don't say full. But oh well. 
Okay, so we've got our med bay. Well, we need to go outside. It is dark. That's what we might do. We might put some lights on this on this baby. Uh, lights and power generation there. So what we need is to dump some stuff off in here. Go to our cargo container. And drop off the guns we aren't using, tools we aren't using, empty bottles. There we go. Get a two. Grab another one. There we go. And we need lights. So we need construction computers. So I want some interior lights, some long interior corner lights. Lighting panel might be good. And double corner light. These the, the I got a, a light mod pack also installed, but I want to keep this this ship as close to vanilla as possible. That way it's easily printable in case one of the mods stuffs up. Um, let's grab one of these. Oh, I don't have a lot of construction computers, eh? Let's grab just a few of them. A few of them. Up on the van. Okay. Oop, let's get up there and make it less dark. So let's do this without my lights on. That we can see how bright. You want to put one of them there. Hmm. Put that there. Eh? So that way you walk in. Well, it doesn't give much of, of much light, does it? Well, that's... Three up. Hello. Not on an open wall. Above a door frame, it kind of suits it. Mm. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Mm. Let's it's something I'm think I've got an idea I might put a LCD there that might match up but let's come in here and just have a look at it corner lights we want to go radius 
cool as possible and just give it a bit of a yeah and let's just take this down for now see how it looks without it where it's gonna get dark again maybe if we just have one of them there yeah, come on ah I need a panel give me a panel So it's interior light, I think it's called. There we go. Whoa. Let's drop it back to what the other ones are. Then. Okay. Oh, now this place is real dark. Hmm. And this is where I might use one of those panels to cover up the conveyor. And that way I can. Well, I can't use it like that, hey? Well, but I can use this one. Now, where's the panel? Oh, light panel. Let's go ten meters again. And I like, I kind of like the. Yeah. So it looks pretty good. It's really bright, which is good. So everything is bright. Now we just got the cockpit to go. Hmm. Yeah, how are we going to do the cockpit? We could. We'll hang it out like that. And then we could make them we could make them a little bit brighter but not as bright as the other ones well what is going on Oh! Oh! The drop shit right on my base! Oh god! Man, I don't, I don't get drop pods for like, I don't know, how many episodes? And then suddenly, bam! Let's just tear it apart. Oh my gosh. The hydrogen engine off. Whoa. Can we get a better angle? Hopefully not get shot up by my own turrets, which can happen. Break it through the center of it. 
Oh, I have to let all this fool. Oh, they're going off the clang. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get off planet. Everything is coming for us today. We had two drop pods. Oh. Look at all this. Yeah, I was going to go get ice too. But I don't think I'll... I don't think I'll go get ice today. Oh, good. My ship's all right. How? I didn't get hurt by those bloody robots. Oh. Yeah, I didn't get hurt by the robots. Got hurt by falling down, didn't I? Oh, what's that guy doing? There's another one over here. I think they're getting a bit glitchy. Let's grab the ammo out of this guy. And let's grab the rest of that ice. Positive. Oh. Okay, we'll go heal up. Oh. We'll go heal up. And what else? We got the med bay done. Get the med bay done. Get the jump drive done. Well, let's grab some ammo for the the Gatling cannons that we installed Do we have any one of the ones in our turrets there oh yeah we got more there let's leave let's leave 33 for the for the base to consume yeah oh the base is full of ice so let's grab some more of these this ice. And have a look at our board. So we got oh that's right, we gotta finish up doing the lights. Get off my base. Oh, even more ice. I know it's full. I'm just trying to get this the garbage off my base. There we go. And oh, we gotta get, gotta get up on an angle. There we go. Okay, we're up. So now we gotta do is. Deposit the ice. Good, it got sucked away. Now, yeah. yep, good. It got sucked away. So, 
it's nice and bright and it's bright enough in here. Uh, let's just go panel. Go light panel. We were, we were fixing these. So let's do this again. Yeah, that's good. So, okay, we've got the flights here. We've got lights. We have gyros. Let's see if we've got enough for a for a small reactor. A small, large grid reactor. Can we do it? Reactor. Oh, yeah, let's go one of these war. Let's go. I know I said I wanted to go keep it, but huh. can it withdraw 100 reactor? You need gravel silver. Oh, and we did that silver run before, so yes. That is good. Oh, plus we will build another 15 medical components for our new base. Because I only built a basic uh, react or basic refinery, I can't refine this good uh, the good metals down. It's just too too big to fit one in. I have to make the ship longer or wider. It's just, yeah, too much for a drop pod or a escape pod. So, while it, while that stuff is building, we can have a look at the tanks. So we've got a hydrogen tank here, which is 33, 34% full, and then the one on the base is 100% full. So, we only need 10. We can. Boom, done. That means that I have to find a place to put it now. I absolutely didn't think that we'd have enough materials. I know we don't have enough uranium, but. We have enough. I might just whack it down there. Uh, turn my lights on. Huh. Okay. Whack it there. And I can walk in and see. Yeah. You turning green on me? Yes. Okay. So we won't make it look pretty yet because. I just want to <laughs> we just double check our to-do list oh yeah we've got to fill up so where can we uh, I don't know where we can do it we need to build um, a connector and some piping so we need so piping, there we go, we need a connector, that way we can suck all the hydrogen out of this base before we leave. So 
So. And we need some a lot more small steel tubes. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we need just that. Now it's going to be on the side. That tower is going to get in the road. Oh well, we just might have to. Oh crap! I had full bottles. How can you do that to me? Just dump me on the ground like I'm a hot potato. Even though I had bottles. Let's dump those out. I've got to turn that feature off. Okay. So now what we need to do is rethink this because we could just drive straight forward and then across a bit. No, it's still bump into that. So we'll go up. Two more. It's roughly the right height. And then we'll go across. And we'll go back that straight. And go past the wind turbine. Like that. And okay, fair enough. I'll get in there. We can't, can't do anything while we're still close. So what we're gonna do is go merge block and whack this down on the bar. Now we just gotta hope and pray. You know what? I'm going to save it. Save it. And then we're going to turn our engines on. So that way we're, we're hovering. Yep. Oh, look how badly our engines are pumping out. And we go merge block off. Okay, we can hover. You beauty. Oh, but let's well give, give ourselves a little bit of weight reduction. And cut that off. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Now let's move to the side a bit. Get around the corner, Steve. Okay. My level. Yep. I don't want to hover on an angle and tilt over on myself. Okay, let's 
get Yumo out. That way we're clear of that. And need Okay, fine. Let's free up some space. Uh. I wish I knew how to fly like this when we're building the the solar towers. It would have made building them a whole lot easier. Okay, can I withdraw it? No. Yeah. Oh, drop me, but. And we put a connector on. Okay. I should be able to stockpile everything out of this base. Well, I only want the, the hydrogen, the rest in the base kit. No! Oh. oh! I tell you what. Can't wait for my jetpack to work properly. We're nearly off planet. So close. It's hovering. We just need the rest of the. Yeah, we just need the rest of the hydrogen. We'll be all set. That is good. Um, you know what? Just, just for, just to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to place that there. And then I'm going to come over here. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to come back outside. I just realised you don't need this connector on here anymore. Yeah, I um, I oh, I do ice runs and park up there, and just get it to suck all the ice out. Then we can come into here like this. Okay, G drive. Go. Switch lock. And come down ever so slightly. Forward. It looks like I go up a bit. And that's not there we go boo and then we can go G where's our tank and we can go stop all on off and we go oh there we go. Suck it all up. Because, well, we went through like. I think we went through something like 15 or 20% of our. of our hydrogen just. Here we go. Just hovering for that small time. Okay, now we can go. Now we're going to leave the planet. We got everything we need. Okay, it's everything's on. Unlock 
and up we go. Vertical takeoff achieved. And that it kind of looks cool. Would have looked a bit nicer if, the, if it was a bit longer. Maybe if I redesign it in a later ep later episode, I can make it a bit bigger, a bit longer, make the the nacelles on the sides a bit bigger, and yeah, have a bigger th a bigger thruster at the back. But yeah. Oh, we're leaving the atmosphere. That's a screenshot. Right there. Screenshot material. Oh, I've wanted to leave I wanted to leave the atmosphere for so long. The night it's a great planet, but but it's just I made that. I made the gravity so high. Oh, we're only six k's up, and we're and we've burnt through five percent of our hydrogen already. Ooh. Bye, base. You're a good starter base. But now... Let's turn our... Uh, dampen is off and coast for a little bit. I come in here and go refinery... Or not refinery... Reactor. And switch off. And then I can go groups, uh, increase thrust override, decrease thrust, thrust override, and then you can go. There we go. We're gaining. Because we're only at 0 0.2 G. So we're not wasting our hydrogen. I didn't think... Man, it's 2.4 on the planet. And this far up... Like, we wouldn't even be halfway on Earth. Or the Earth-like planet. So... Yeah. So, where to go? Where to go from here? I want to go to Europa, so that way we have fuel. There's the Earth-like planet, and there is Mars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yeah, I'm pretty sure the pretty sure Europa is around is a is a moon of Mars. So if we go to Mars then hopefully we can yeah, hope, hopefully we'll find it. Because let's get... i am just got to get out of the, the orbit. Oh no, there we go. We've hit it. Inertial dampeners are on. How come I'm not breaking? Oh, that's right. I have to... Turn my dampeners off. Weird. 
we made it we've made it to space Whew. and we completely stopped there we go yeah, I was look, we were looking at there we go Mark. I think that's Mars over there I think that's Earth or the Earth like planet there and I'm thinking that's Mars there so what we're going to do is come into here all blocks get our jump drive where is it where is it there it is and we can whack it down here and go jump and let's let's get rid of these we don't need these now that we're that we're off the planet and we can put down here and go and decrease distance and increase distance okay and now I can go three for a blind jump we can travel 2,000 kilometers yes and with this jump I think it's gonna be the end of the episode so yeah you like the episode guys whoa it was fast <sighs> oh no oh next time we go back I'm gonna have to leave a marker so I can jump to it but yeah if you like this episode guys hit the like button and we're only one step away from Mars Next episode, Mars. <laughs> Bye.